Welcome back to the berry patch. So in the last video, I told you all a few ways to know how to tell when it's to, time to fertilize your strawberries, but I'd also mentioned that I had some runners that were coming up. So I wanted to take a second just to show you all what to do with those runners. Um, in the past, I have actually let the runners just spread and grow in around the plant. The problem with that is that it starts to just overtake the whole area and then it makes it really hard to maintain and um, I'm terrified of snakes. I'm always afraid snakes are going to be hiding up in the mess. So I like to have lots of space between my plants. They have lots of airflow. Um, it's easier to weed. It's easier to harvest. Um, but I do want to keep the plants and I, I actually do sell some of my runners, um, but I also plant them in other places. I have a whole strawberry tower. Um, every two years you need to, well, maybe three years, you need to replace um, all of these main plants. So I keep some of them um, for that year to, to replenish my strawberry patch. But anyway, the easiest way that I have found is to simply just take a cup of dirt. It can be anything. I just happen to have this pot with dirt already in it. You could use um, starter pots. You could use a solo cup. You could use whatever you have on hand, just a cup with some dirt. And I'm gonna take the runner and I'm just gonna stick it right in there and put a rock on it to weigh the plant down so that that runner will start to root right there in that cup of dirt. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And then um, just, you know, a week or so, I mean, make sure it's watered, but in a week or so it'll start to root, you'll have another plant and that's it, enjoy.